Maggie, my daughter, I was diagnosed with T-cell leukemia. An hour after that, they said, pack a bag, um, you'll be going to Cardinal Glennon. She's had a pretty difficult go of things thus far. She's had a lot of uh, side effects, a lot of complications. At one point, she was having difficulty just getting up and walking. She had pancreatitis and that's a 5% chance of the kids get that. It was rough. When she started to manage the pain, then she wanted to eat, couldn't eat, because you completely let your stomach rest with pancreatitis. They've always you know, rolled with the punches. We couldn't ask for more wonderful doctors and nurses and support staff. They're just like part of our extended family, really. You're not sad when you leave, but you're like, we'll see you next time. <laughs> A lot of people will send you stuff to animals. Yeah. You know? I got to meet Matt Holliday and he's um, very nice and Leslie Holliday is very nice. He walked in the, the room and started talking to my dad like he's another person. They make these autographs, but they don't use the wood that we get. I don't think we'll be using that one. No. <laughs> they are just sweet, wonderful, caring, kind people. They check on Maggie all the time. This is a sweet, special relationship that Maggie has with Matt. How do you think that you got that tall from your dad? I don't know. That's, I guess my great-grandfather. I watch every Cardinal game, and every time David or Matt are up to bat, I am like, it's so much, so more personal, it seems like. It seems like, oh darn, he didn't get on base, and I feel more sad than I did before. She is becoming this person that I'm so proud of. She's going to be well and happy and fulfilled and moving on with her life and and know that she's who she is because of all because of everything. Back, back. I like to th say thank you to Matt Holiday and his family for getting the kids at Cardinal Glennon back in the game and getting me back in the game. There you go.